We have all seen videos and films depicting the rise of the machines, with scary looking humanoid robots hefting dangerous looking weapons and causing untold misery to the humans. Thankfully these scenarios have not yet materialised. The rise of AI in the news and on your computers, tablets and phones does worry many people as they envisage that perhaps this scenario could appear in the not too distant future. Or at the very least the rise of the robots would mean large numbers of job losses. But what if robots are already among us and have been not for years but for decades? And if that's the case how could we have missed this happening? These robots are not the sleek, gunmetal battle robots dedicated to ending humanity. Nor are they the industrial robots seen in the factories that produce all our cars and trucks. These are the robots that accounted for 90,000 job losses in the UK alone. Automated teller machines, or ATMs for short. Finance and the banking industry has been at the forefront of automation and computerization for decades. My very first job was working as a bank teller, spending my day counting cash out to customers. In 1967 the very first cash dispensing machine was launched in London in the UK. By 1971 there were 1,000 ATMs across the UK, which by 1990 had risen to 2,000 ATMs. And this had displaced some 15,000 full-time staff. The future was clear. Customers actually preferred queuing to use the ATM rather than queuing for human bank tellers. The writing was on the wall. The rise of the machines. The end is truly nigh. Repent. But can we look on ATMs as being robots? Because an ATM perceives, decides and acts on its environment using mechanical, electronic and software components, a cash dispensing ATM fits the standard definition of a robotic system, albeit a specialised and stationary one. By the year 2000, the number of these stationary robots had risen to 14,000 in the UK alone, following mass adoption by the banks and third parties. The cumulative job losses in the banking sector had now risen to between 30 and 35,000. In the next five years came the widespread adoption of multi-function ATMs that took deposits and scanned cheques. With the rise of internet banking, many bank teller roles became redundant and physical branches started to close, pushing the cumulative job losses close to 50,000. By 2010, the number of ATMs in the UK peaked at 30,000, with most branches of banks having one or more ATMs. They also appeared in supermarkets, corner shops and garages. This pushed the cumulative job losses to 60,000. From 2020 onwards, the number of ATMs started to decline, mainly due to the rise of cashless systems, whereby you could pay by card or even just by using your smartphone. The machines had not only risen, they had started to diversify and evolve. The rise of AI-driven customer service bots displaced 5,000 call centre staff and full-scale intelligent document processing for mortgage underwriting displaced another 7,000 underwriting clerks in the UK. It has been reported that the introduction of ATMs alone accounted for 25% of the total job losses in the banking industry. Some 90,000 full-time equivalent posts. Worldwide, there are reported to be some 3 million ATMs. The machine world isn't just coming, it's here now. And for those that thought 
virtual reality would never take off. Where do you think your money is now? That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching today's video. Please feel free to click on the link in the description below to discover more videos.